What's up blockheads in the truck today? Uh, Cause it's crappy weather and I actually have some heavy things that I need to pick up, which I can't take on a motorcycle. So uh, today I am going to pick up the wheels from the Iron 883. I'm getting them from Powder Coat. They should uh, be done as per them letting me know. And then uh, I am headed to Cycle Gear after that to get the tires mounted and balanced onto the wheels. But before all that, I am picking up some food. We are here at Crystal Burger. I haven't had Crystal Burger in years. And on the Five Dirty Bikers podcast, we talked about White Castle. So it kind of got me wanting some of these little sliders. So I'm going to order some of these things and hopefully they don't uh, kill me <laughs> and disrupt my day. Oh, got me that Crystal. All right, them crystal burgers were good. Uh, hopefully I'm not feeling them later. Anyways, on the way to uh, pick up the wheels. to cycle gear. When the man was dressing, it was discovered that the female was unresponsive. Emergency services was called, and they no, determined no, no. the female had been dead for some time. No, no, no. The man was busted for necrophilia in public, and that's what was going down what? as these people were watching. Gross. Said, man, I'm just trying to record a time lapse here, and that shit comes on the radio. What the Orlando. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Alright, back to the what? wheels and tires. I don't even know what the I've been in Got it all back in the garage. Well, it's ready to uh, get back on the hover bike. She gonna have some new shoes. Got uh, new wheel bearings. We got the spacers and the plates and the rotors and uh, bolts and all that stuff. So we got all the wheel bearings. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the freezer. Right on top of the ice cream. Two hours later. All right, it's been a couple hours. Gonna put some bearings into wheels just so they don't uh, warm up. Go ahead and stick them in the fridge out here. Bearing driver set. Keep going with the old ones and see what size it is. All right, so we got towel, wheel, need to get the bearings into the hubs. Taking one of the bearings out of the fridge. Bearing is driven. So we're gonna wanna flip the wheel over now. And we wanna get the spacer right there. Then you get another bearing out of the fridge. <laughs> All right, guys, so I called in the uh, professional support. You guys remember Pedro? So Wanderer Moto. I'll drop his link down in the description below. You guys go find him. Motion Pro thing wasn't working, so he brought his heavy hitter tools for uh, getting some wheel bearings in. And I'll let him explain it to you. So this is pretty much very simple. Instead of using a hammer, because you don't want a hammer near this beautiful powder coating. So we use these little things that slide in, one on each side, and then you just do huge gigantic bolt with a nut over here and you pretty much just put two wrenches to the end of it and press these things together really tight until it's done no hammers needed nice so what it does it sinks it in oh you heard it mm -hmm. fix it all right guys so we are installing the rear ones pedro took a little tiny bit of grease just inside the hub just took ones out of the fridge all right so you guys don't forget spacer mm-hmm 
And then the other bearing. You just want to get them like in there, start it a little bit. You never hit in the center. Always hit a little bit in the edges to get them started. You see what it's doing? Notice how I'm holding the, the hammer like that so I don't, I have full control and I'm not, I don't want to hit it too hard. Like you said, so you're going to love this dude. It's just nice the way it just smooths it in. And again, notice how I'm grabbing just the head of this. I don't even need to put too much strength to it. See, and your the spacer has a little bit of free play, with, like it's supposed to. Nice. The next day. All right, it's the next day. And uh, yeah, one of those bearings that I put in uh, ended up getting a bit damaged from the press piece that I was using since it wasn't uh, wide enough collar piece for the outer race of the bearing. So I'm up here at Orlando Harley Davidson South and I'm gonna grab some more bearings and I figured while I'm here, I'll just get them to put them in. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> Definitely need to invest in that. The right way to do it. <laughs> nice. All right, done up at Orlando Harley South. Also got some more cool stuff in, replacement clutches for the grounds. Later. All right, back in the garage, Reese hanging out. So I got the uh, bearings pushed into this one. Learn from my mistakes, kids. Get a uh, better bearing setting tools. So we're gonna go ahead and get the plate back on that side. So that piece covers up one and the front rotor back on the other. Got all the hardware here ready to go. And then we'll get it back on the bike. All right, getting the rotor back on. New bolts going in. Tightening a star pattern, right? Torque down to spec. Uh, sure. All right, rotor's on. Now, other side, it's plate. John up at Harley, one of the techs, uh, said to not over torque these, because if you do, it'll actually bend the plate. So, we just want to snug them down. Took the axles out, cleaned them up, as per Reese's recommendation, with some brake clean. So I got them all looking good. This one looks new. What's happening here? Just pushing the piston out farther. So you got more room to slide the rotor in. Yep. I think at this point, we're ready to go ahead and throw some anti-seize back on the uh, axle and then thread everything through. Anti-seize, stick. And this, I know they say you don't want angled a certain direction, right? Because it whistles. Yeah, you just want it straight. There we go. So we got axle through, fork, spacer, wheel, rotor, spacer, fork, washer, nut. And then what was the torque spec? 50 what? 50 to 55. 50 to 55 torque spec on this one and 21 27 on here. Looks like a low rider. Low rider S. Getting the fender back on, hex bolt and nut. Here on the back, get that back wheel on. Do a little bit of anti skis, as Reese calls it. Boop. Hey, camera. How you doing? <laughs> so, what are you doing right now, Reese? Massaging the caliper, massaging the piston to get it to give you as much room as possible. There we go. All right, I think we're good to lift. And while doing that, we gotta put this around the pulley. Go into this side first and push the wheel all the way forward. Slide this on and then pull it back. One eternity later. All right, we are on the front pulley. You gotta straddle your bike. It'd be easier if we dropped it down, yeah? It'd be easier if we didn't have to do this in the first place. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, yeah, drop it down. Just hold that. That is how you do it, bud. That's how you do it, apparently, bud. Got the spacers on, now we just need to grab the license plate, bracket there. Like that right there. Try flipping it around. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> do Put it, like it way here. up here. Yep. Yeah, and when we tighten it, it'll... All right, axle is through, plate mount back on, everything lined up, just torque down to spec, and then we have that retaining... Where did that thing go? In my hand. Oh. Yep. Final thing is pump up the brakes. Pump up the jam. There we go. Belt tension is tight, we're good. Hey, hey, thanks for your help, bro. Oh, you're welcome. Appreciate you. So this is uh, new wheels as compared to the Dyna wheels. Doo-doo brown, nice, lighter, goldish. 
Well guys, I wanted to wait to finish that video till I had the new exhaust in so that we could go out and get some good shots of it, but those shots are going to have to come later. Still don't have the exhaust in that I ordered for it. Pretty much done. I'll get you guys some good shots of it outside later because you know the wheels they they pop a bit more when they're in the sunlight but uh that's it learn from my mistake big thanks to everybody that helped me quite a few people helping me through the whole project of wheels and tires and all that stuff so thank you guys sorry to like kind of let you down and not give you like a final look I'll definitely be sure to do a follow-up later down the road, uh, which will be an interesting follow-up because I've got some interesting updates on the uh, on the wheels for you guys too. So hit that subscribe button to be notified of whenever that video comes out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon as well so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Till next time, ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.